What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, I told you all this was coming. I told you I was going to show you how to, to rig the Ballyhoo like we used on Kelly's tuna. And what you're about to see is me catch my biggest tuna ever on this particular bait. I've never done a how to rig a Ballyhoo video before, but we're about to start. First, most important thing you don't need gloves. I'm just doing this so you don't have to stare at my ugly hands the entire video. Now, I like to put my Ballyhoo in really, really, really cold water. See how there's ice in there? And then I need a bucket right here. I'm actually gonna pick it up so y'all can see it better. I get me a bucket of just regular water. Come over here real quick. Now this is the rig. I'm gonna lay it right here on the table so you can see it. This is the rig that we used in Louisiana, but a lot smaller, a smaller hook, smaller weight, smaller leader. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. The same bait, but how we do it here at home for dolphin, little tuna, smaller tuna. Take right here. I'm glad I wore a white shirt so you can see too. See his bill? I'm gonna break it, not cut it. Now watch that skin underneath come off with it. See how that skin comes? That's an important part. Here's the next important part. Take the beak, stick it in his eye right there, and remove his eyeball. Do it on both sides, just like that. Give it a quick rinse. Now the reason I use ice in the one bucket is so the bait doesn't warm up while I'm rigging it. But now I gotta show you how to actually make the rig. Just got 60 pound liter. I'm gonna pull off about six and a half feet. I'm taking a 7756 must add extra strength hook. Just gonna tie the knot that I tie. You can do this with any knot you want, doesn't matter. Come back through. There's my knot. See that? Perfect. Now here's a really important part, is the copper wire. For this particular type of ballyhoo, I use a longer piece of wire than I would if I was rigging like a skipping ballyhoo and you're going to see why in a minute. Come over here. I'm going to come through, see the point? I'm coming through this away. I'm going to pull out about that much and spin it around the shank of the hook. Just like so. See how I have that? And I'm going to take me a little quarter ounce weight and I'm going to slide it down. That's it right there. Now this is important because trust me when I say this bait right here you can go anywhere, anytime, any place and catch fish with it. So this is the loop which we will attach to the swivel at the end of the rigging process. I'm making me a loop just like this. I'm going to make another loop behind it. This is hard to do with gloves on. See how I have the tag in? Loop, loop. Now I'm going to bring the tag in between the two and I'm going to grab the smaller one and pull it through. See that? That's the loop knot. It ain't going nowhere. That's what you connect to here. Because you want to rig a bunch of these baits, lay them in this tray, salt them to where when you're fishing, you catch a dolphin, just jerk this leader off, hook a new leader on and go on about your way. The question is, have you ever even wore gloves to rig anything? Before? No, and it's <laughs> literally hard so here it goes nothing I'm gonna try to do this over the table right. now these baits are definitely not the best baits I've ever used before they seem real mushy come right in behind his gill and I try to flatten out his stomach and I come around until I think I'm far enough to where the whole hooks gonna get in there see how that just happened and I sort of anchor that bait in there come back around his gill Open this part of his gill up and I suck it in there tight. Make sure my hook's straight and I come through the eye socket one time. All right, here comes the next step. Now I gotta put this in my mouth and get the weight up here. This weight needs to sit right there. So I'm actually gonna come through his eye one more time. This is why I need a longer piece 
of wire. I'm gonna come through his eyeball one more time, but now I'm gonna cinch it down in front of the weight. All right, pay attention. Coming back up through his beak. See how I just did that? Now you gotta hold this piece up here, make sure it comes through nice and flat so it doesn't tear through his nose. And I'm gonna come around twice. Now, I've got my line straight, see this? Their bill is actually in two different pieces. And I just split it right down the middle. Keep coming around, just like so, to about that far right there. See that? So now I'm going to take this little piece of wire and trim it off. Bend it right around, and I'm going to take his beak and snip it right there. That is a split bill swimming ballyhoo with a chin weight. I, I don't think I need to tell you again. You can go. Excuse me, I had to burp. Anywhere in any ocean, catch sailfish, mahi, tuna, wahoo. Wahoo, you would need wire, but this bait right here is devastating. Now I'll come in here gently, right behind the hook, and start slowly squeezing his poop out. But you gotta do this gently. Get your fingers wet so you don't tear this bait. And I like to really bend it. This bait is going to be so good in the water. Now I planned on showing you this part of the video out on the boat, but today is my only free day to edit. Tomorrow we're fishing offshore, and the next day my buddy Ryan Holder, who if you saw my last cat fishing video in Alabama, him and Vaughn are coming down. So I removed the swivel and a lot of the leader so I can cast it in my pool. But to be honest with you, if I was dolphin fishing, or like in my tuna video you just watched where we kept missing those tuna on the topwater plastic, if I would have did this rig right here, cut the leader down to real short, no swivel, and put that on the spinning rod, I would have caught every single one of those tuna. Or I would have at least hooked them and sharks would have ate them, but I would have caught them because this is what they were feeding on. So even without the swivel and all that leader, this rig right here is still deadly. If a big dolphin swims up to your boat, a mahi-mahi, and won't eat, a lot of times they won't eat because they've traveled all the way around to us in Florida and they've seen a hundred boats and they sort of get spooked. You throw this at them and reel it past them real fast, they're gonna eat it. So go down to that end and I'm gonna to try to show y'all in slow motion what it looks like. Look at that bait. It just looks live. You can't argue the fact that, and if I could reel it fast, uh oh, I just foul hooked the pull. <laughs> See how it sinks down sort of swimming? And then pops back up. Those tuna would have crushed that thing. Let me do it right here in front of you again. See that? So if you was to see like a big dolphin or you pull up on a board and you drop this way down, you can let it sink because it's sinking like it's supposed to. And then just start dragging it and it will swim so amazingly. A chin weighted split bill ballyhoo on just a regular J hook. Now you can see how the bait's starting to wash out and that will affect it swimming right. I think these baits that I bought aren't worth a crap to be honest with you and if they were, they wouldn't have done that already. But just that will allow this bait to swim weird. It'll make it spin because water will actually get up in that cavity. So make sure you buy good baits, use good gear, and you'll catch more fish on that bait right there, I promise. Now let's take it back to Venice, Louisiana. I just let one of these out. On the same rig, the same hook, the same weight as Kelly already caught her monster on. I just set mine out in the water and y'all watch what happens and I'm gonna show you in real time how it all went down, how I caught the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. They're up underneath the screen right now. Oh, he hit it, come off. He, he really never come really hard. That one is going so good. He just tasted it. There he is! There he yeah. is! Yeah! Yeah, Gabe! There we go. Look at that! Put the clicker on, Gabe! We gotta hear it! We gotta hear what he's doing! Yeah. The Blue Goblin Special! Pins him again, boy! You guys, 
That's crazy right there. That's so much drag you can't even pull it with your hand. Uh-uh. Wow. He is leaving oh. town. Wow. He's getting back out down. of town. Okay. He goes right He's there. swimming back to Stewart. Where do you want it? Keep him right there. I'm in, I'm in. Lock him oh. up a little bit. Oh. Lock him up a little bit. I'm going to go towards him. You got a reel on him, Gabe. <laughs> Get ready to reel. when you're reeling in these fish. You're so focused and determined. Gabe, let us know when you want to swap out. We got a lot of line out that we need to get back. Take these for a second. Catch up. Get them, Rob. Get them, Rob. Get them, Rob. Get them, Rob. Get them, right. Get them tight. Yep. Keep your head down, Rob. Blind, Dick. Blind. All right. Come on, Rob. Oh, Wait, nice. ready. Good job. Nice. Oh, nice. Keep it going, Rob. Oh, there we bird. go. Work for it. Work for it, yeah. Rob. Ready? 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 Two, one, go. Let's get on this fish. We're playing musical Talk chairs. Talk to me, Joey. I'm pumping up the drag to chair. All right. He's already tight. Good job. Dave, hop on this side of him. Get ready to swap out. Get tight, get tight. Only swap when he's real tight. Is there a harpoon right ready? Here, yep. it's ready? The bad thing is, is we had so much line out and he took so much line that really right now we're just trying to come and get what we well, saw right well, underneath well. him. Can you get tight in control? Mm. Pick me in reverse, it's really loose. There he is, there he is, okay, okay. Swap out, okay, go ahead, swap game. out. Woo! Going He's after him, here we go, up. here we go. Go down, go yep, down. Yep, 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 yep. Keep that left hand on the rod. Good job, guys. Come on, man. That's teamwork. Yep. Teamwork makes this the dream work. teamwork right here. There we go. Put your egos aside. We need to land this fish or the sharks are going to get them. It takes a team. All right. You... D-Mog, we hooked up on a giant right now, brother. I got to call you back. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's stop. Let's We're on top of them. All right. There we go. Now this fish is right where we want him, straight up and down. Look, we already got the top shot coming back on. Well, there she goes. Never mind. See you later, Top Jack. This fish is still very green, so if he does anything like real crazy, don't be afraid to back off the drag a little, okay? I like go. right where he's at right now. I like a lot of pressure on him. We're gonna break his spirit. He's coming hard under the boat. Yep. He's good. He's just right on top. Swim out. Where we want to be. Uh, he might not be circling yet. That's the problem. You know, he's Use your boat to help you out. 
Relax when you can. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. It's all about that breathing. Yep. All right, I'm going to swing us around on the other side. Big tail beast, baby. Look at that rod. One of the little things um, you can do when fighting these big fish as a captain, you can you can put yourself on the uh, let's see the leeward side, right? So use that wind to help you. The wind's hitting us right in the face right now, and it's pushing the boat off of the fish. Just a while ago, I was on the other side and the wind was pushing the boat on top of the fish. It was getting underneath the boat. It just wasn't a good angle. So we flipped the boat around. Now the wind is helping us out. And let me make something clear. You are not bad enough to hold this rod and do what we're no. doing. I don't care who you are. Correct. He's under the boat. Roger. Straight down, under the boat. Gag, gag. There we go. Into the wind. I'm gonna switch sides real quick. Look at the blue water that just starts popping I, I mean, this is a, you know, generally speaking, this is a very small boat out here. You know, I'm only drafting two He's under the boat, hard under the still, boat. You're good, you're clear. And we're still kicking up clean water. So this murk layer is not that deep at all. Like right there, that one, I didn't even gain line. Yeah. Wait, we're still at strike. You, you can bump it up so That's what happened to me when I was in the uh, I mean, black magic. Little, it's little not, it's not good for us to put on Especially with the boat rocking, oh. you kind of got to watch that drag a little. <laughs> Last time I was with Captain Bob, I harnessed my fish. I stood up and fought him. This fish is quite a bit bigger than that. And I'm already wore out from losing the five or big ones earlier. Are those excuses? Honestly, no, that's called wise old age play. right there. Oh, that's yeah, called being wise. Like you don't get top water bites like that. And we got five of them. Epic. It's all about having a captain and a crew and whoever's throwing the lure, getting it in the right spot at the right time. Ain't no one person can catch these fish. Yeah. I don't care who you are. He's hard under the boat. Oh, hard. Hard under the boat. Hard, hard, hard under the boat. They cut in the bottom. One of the signs you want to look for fighting these fish because there's so many sharks in here and we have so much other bycatch, you really want to look for a tail beat. And what I mean by that is if you focus on the rod tip, you'll see the rod tip throb. Very good. He's hard under the these boat. These fish again. like to get in He's a hard rhythm. Under the boat. Yep, loosen up on the drag. You have to. I can't I can't really spin it right here. Oh, 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 oh. You're good. I can't really spin it right Hard. Here. Yeah, go. Do it again. Do it again. This is annoying. Making it hard for you, Gabe. You think I got enough angle to spin it all the way around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're good. You're good now. There you Perfect. Go. There Perfect. you go. Good. He's doing the opposite of Kelly's fish. Kelly's fish did loops outward. This one is going under. Good job. He is uh, north of 50 foot. We got him north of 50 right now. All right. Oh, I got color. You got color? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hit him. Whoa! We got the dart. We got the dart in him. 
I'm glad I added another 100 foot of line to that. All right, block them off, get them in. The sharks are going to be all over them. It's tight. Holy moly. Is that all supposed right, to happen? Let's get this fish Yeah. Out. Okay. It does. It's very rare. This, I mean, this is a big, big fish. That was scary. <laughs> I'm glad no one's foot was caught up in that line. Nice. Yeah. That's fine. why I like yeah. the bass. I'm lucky I have all 10 fingers right now. Where the hell did it? Gotta watch for those buoys. Yeah, I can't. Uh, we're gonna have to watch for them in the motors, especially. Got it. Right. Joey, swim over there and get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> buoy's over there? We don't have nothing if we don't get that buoy. Oh, it's well. on the buoy? Yeah, He'll sink that. that buoy. Joey, get the gap. Charters. That's two trips, two Woo! giant tunas. It don't get no better than that. Bob, that, you're, you're a character over there. That was, <laughs> that's awesome. That was one of the. Thank you, Bob. Okay, that cute little oh, All right, let's go up with it. So one thing I just noticed that, and that's the reason you'll hear me ask Captain Bob and these guys certain things. I forgot that that harpoon pole is right down here on him too. So that would have made a mess if we did bring him in. Yeah, where is that pole at? He's got his hand. hand. We're trying to get it undone. Am I might All right. Here, just go ahead and yeah, cut it. I can cut it. Where are we at? Right here. You got a hold of the pole? Go Two giant on tuna right on a split hill ballyhoo. The same hook. Kelly caught hers on. I didn't even change the leader. What kind of leader is this? She works. She, she works. She works, baby. Fluorocarbon, 80 pound test. We just caught two giants on the same I'm hook, the same out. leader, and everything. She works just proved itself, y'all. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah. Look at that bonus, you guys. Oh my gosh. Woo! Hey, buddy. Wow. Welcome aboard, friend. Fish of a lifetime. Wow. That's a chunky one right what there. What a blessing. Wow. You guys, look at that. The last one I caught with Captain Bob was 124, and we also caught a 200 pounder that day. Now we've caught one about 160, and this one that I don't even have a clue. What did I say? 
You were close on both. 185 or 185 hole. Wow. How big is it? Okay, okay. 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 Big dog. But he's big, so I can tell you. Oh, my leg. That cramp, the cramps are real. I got one for you. For those of y'all that feel like being a keyboard warrior right now and saying, you caught him in a rod holder. Look up, Captain Bob. Book you a trip and come tackle one. Come see if you can get him on stand up. And then up. you can see if you can catch him on stand up. <laughs> before right. the sharks do. That's I the bet map. you can't. And yeah, that is the key word is before the sharks do. I did catch my last one with him on stand up. Yep. But the sharks weren't that bad that time. They're bad now. Let's see that hook right in the it's corner of the mouth. That's it also a sea works hook, baby. Hey, <laughs> Louisiana Blue Water Charters, baby! Yeah. Woo! Here we go! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see what's in this monster's belly. We got our serrated Danko. And we're gonna see what's in it. Golly. So we know that they're eating ballyhoo because we're witnessing it. And they also just, that's what they eat out here. But we're gonna see what's in his belly. There's something in there. There's the stomach. Let's come over here. I just found right here. All right. Now Kelly and I both filmed a video today, but they're two totally different videos. You don't want to miss either one of them. Look at that. That is not a ballyhoo. That's a jaw of something. It's got teeth. There's a ballyhoo. Look, Joey, what do you think that is? Or Bob? That's it's a, like a snapper. Is it a beeliner? It might be a verm. Might be a verm. Might be... No, this is a baby dolphin. Yeah, this yeah. It's a baby monkey. Exactly what that is. There's, I think, the rest of whatever... If that is a mahi, there's his belly. We got something else in there, but... I can't get it to work out. Oh, it looks like it's just bone. So it's hard to smush out. It would be bad if you stuck a bone that's in there and you're oh. Definitely infected. Right there. A needlefish. That's a needlefish bill. Huh. That or a monster belly who I think that's a helm fish. So that just shows he's got a topwater pelagic. Those are ballyhoo bills, ballyhoo bills. I thought at first they were needlefish, but that's ballyhoo. Huh. And then a baby dolphin, mahi mahi. Hey, so if y'all have ever, uh, you know, killed your first deer, you get bloodied up on your first deer. When you kill your first tuna, this is what you do. But you gotta have a little bit of this. Are you gonna eat it without it? You ain't gotta have none of that. Look oh, at you're this. gonna Still, really bite that? Yeah. Still oh, yeah. Look at it. What you gotta do? Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Still beat. Don't, don't eat all of it. Give I like to out. have a little bit of their Did you really uh, blood. take a bite? I like yes, to have a little sure. bit of their blood yeah, right. running through my system at all times. Dave, no, I've never. You can't get the full flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're Why would about. you gag? I gag. I tried to <laughs> swallow it. Uh, I couldn't swallow yeah. it. I swallowed it, guys. I don't know what you did. <laughs> I'm not sure why you guys thought that was so I gross. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have gagged if he. I tried yeah. to swallow it. And just my my body was like, uh uh, you ain't swallowing that. I guess I'm just tougher than the most of them. <laughs> I, was I did this last time I was in Venice. Right. I got a video to prove it. I swallowed it. I just went heart and swallowed it immediately. I'll tell you one thing. This is kind of interesting. A bluefin heart tastes way different than an elephant heart. A bluefin well, heart. I was looking at your mouth full of blood and then he gagged and it's all over from there. <laughs> oh, that tastes really oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. Much better. All right, let's get this bad boy on ice. All right. 